And here we are in the Hawker 800 XBI flying into Philadelphia. It's an RNAV approach with some gusty and windy conditions. Ready to be the RNAV on my 27 right approach. Let's see what we have. Uh, 27 right, effective 11 February. We have the final approach course is 268 uh, Jalto as the final approach course with a decision altitude of 267 for the LTV, which we're legal to do in the US. But other than that, it will be the LMAD at 520. For the mist, it's going to be a climb 3000 direct to direct land on the 2 minute approach land. Batteries, MALS, R lights, any questions? As you might have just heard, we uh, briefed the approach, the RNAV approach. It is visual conditions. We still brief the approach. We still fly the approach. We've all heard of sea fit accidents at night, aircraft flying into hills and mountains at night, even though it was perfectly perfect VFR conditions. That is part of the reason we do this. It also avoids confusion, especially with other airports in the area that we it's one way to ensure that we are actually lined up for the correct runway and the correct uh, airport. So yes, we fly the approach. We had really bad vectors from the air traffic controller on this particular night. She gave us a 110 degree intercept, which is not really acceptable. Even a 90 degree intercept is not ideal for any autopilot or any FMS especially on an approach. You would you'll probably hear the autopilot kick off and uh, the flight director start dancing around if you look down at the flight director. And that's because we start hand flying because that was the best option at that time. And that's why it's very important not to lose your hand flying instrument skills. It's pretty gusty winds are we had pretty much a direct crosswind there for most of the way down you'll see the airplane is in a pretty good crab till we get way down the approach on this particular night we had two options of runways one was really close to the FBO which was less than a minute taxi and the other one was about five to six minutes taxi we elected the runway with the longer taxi because it was a longer runway and the patient was a very sensitive patient that we had on board. We, we try to minimize any amount of shock or shaking with this patient. So a smooth landing would have been ideal with this patient. So we went for the longer runway. So we had a little bit more uh, room to nurse the airplane onto the ground. Especially in these conditions where it's super windy. You might have noticed that we came over a river that was the uh, Delaware River outside of Philadelphia. It runs through downtown, past downtown. As you can see, a pretty good crab. There's the runway finally coming into view, and this is pretty much almost the view that I have if I would just keep my head. Uh, looking outside the uh, the front window, this this would be my view. But as you know, you can turn your head, so you have a little bit better view than that. Right, Here we are. The aircraft stable. All the pre-landing checks are complete. This is where the rubber meets the runway. Time to make a very soft and very smooth landing, especially with this patient that we have on board. In the back, medics are working. They're doing their best to keep this tank, this patient stabilized. Sitting right. 20, 10. Gotta sneak that airplane onto the runway. I don't know that we can land 
it any smoother than that. The only way that that landing would be any smoother is if the runway was wet. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Here we are, high speed exit, heading to the FBO. Thanks again.